Hi, and welcome to the Texas Fly Fishing Report. It is May 28th, 2021. My name is Shannon, and if you haven't been here before, I do a Texas Fly Fishing Report that I try to bring to you whenever it's pertinent. Uh, we're in between rainstorms right now here in North Texas. Uh, the weather is taking us from a, uh, what should have been a wonderful May down to uh, about five five fishable days in the last 28 days out of the last 28 so it's been a rough time so saddle up to the old uh, video screen or phone however you're watching grab yourself a little refreshment and uh, let me try to talk you through the hyper local video that I have without ever seeing it so I'm always trying to do things different, make it a little bit interesting. So what I did, which is not that interesting, I guess, I don't know, is I uh, went out on the flats and walked the flats on Lake Ray Roberts. You know, the more I spend time with Ray Roberts, the more I find mosquitoes. <laughs> nah, just kidding. The, the more I spend time on Ray Roberts, the more I realize that it is a, a unique lake in Texas. Um, and one of the reasons I've been going to these other lakes is just to prove my point to myself more than anything else. Because I've, I've been saying that for a long time, but I haven't been to uh, a lot of places where um, I could say it with authority. I'm starting to gain authority on talking about Ray Roberts and saying that these big flats that we have here that basically look like saltwater flats, but they're full of carp gar, uh, grass carp now, um, bass, uh, it is unique and it is on right now but we have a lot of as you can see hopefully we'll cut away to the video and I'm just talking right over this on the video as I'm walking um, the water is very clear because it's rainwater up in these flats and there's there, it didn't rain on mud it rained on the grass and then it filled up into the grass and I hope as you are watching you can see how clear it is and how it's pretty easy to spot fish once you realize they're much more shallow than you think they are um, and it can be done uh, what you've got to do if you're walking these flats number one you want to book a trip with me so I can show you a lot of places are. here on Lake Ray Roberts where you can come out park your car pay your entry fee whatever park your car walk in walk into the water beautiful places like this though the lost pines trail uh, walk in catch bass catch carp i can show all this to you all you gotta do is book a trip guys girls anybody who wants to book this is a good time to do it set your date water's gonna go down the rain's gonna stop and i always make sure that if uh to ask my clients if they want to uh, know of some places that they can go and do this themselves and if they do that's where we go and i'll show it to them show them how it's done and i'll turn you guys loose and you can go get it and if you don't want to do that if you've already done that and you know your way around i can take you to places that are off the grid and when i say off the grid i mean off the grid on their own and come back and do it themselves the diy is what i was all about um, and I realize that'll get you so far, but then at some point you might want to save a lot of time and hire a guide. So on the video, you can see the water. Uh, if you get just a little bit offshore in these flats, which I would show to you on a trip, uh, they are pretty muddy and you lose all visibility and you're basically speculating a lot on where the fish might be. So that's, that's the flat scene on foot. The water has, the dams are closed down all over north central Texas and central Texas um, to prevent damage down rivers um, to other properties that are more valuable and than just the, some of these prop, some of these properties, some of these lakes in north Texas, all they are is reservoirs and they, they don't have any houses around them. So the only thing around them that gets damaged when the lake goes up is the parks themselves. So the uh, financial decisions are made wisely to uh, go ahead and, and fill up the, the lakes, shut down some of the dams. Now, not all the dams are shut down now. Brazos River can take a lot of water. It's a, it's a big river and it's taking a lot of water downstream now. So Brazos is a big exception, um, but otherwise we're holding on Ray Roberts right now to prevent 
problems in Louisville, and Louisville's probably not doing all they can do to release either because the Trinity River Basin and Trinity River system can't handle as much. So that's what's going on there on the flats on foot. Now, I managed to get out on the skiff. I've got the new, brand new, newly installed um, cavitation plate by Fibertex. It's called the Shaw Wing. And I had to see if I could figure out what I was doing on my skiff for that. And it's wacky. It's great. It takes the whole boat up. And when you're running on a plane, it takes the whole boat shallower. But anyway, got out there, ran that a little bit, but I found a point where um, there's a lot of water on top. This is still on Ray Roberts. A lot of water on top and over on top of the point. So the water is actually going up into the trees that are normally two feet out of the water on the point. And right up tight on there, as you'll see in this video, I was able to, uh, I saw a bunch of birds in the trees and I think these, these fish underneath, tons of sand bass. I mean, hundreds. Every cast you catch a sand bass if you just work your, your line right. Whether it's fly or whether it's, I use them. I'm starting, I've, I've actually, I've got a video coming on the dark side. You may, if you dig back into the, uh, the archives here, you'll see the dark side stuff. And that is using ultralight spinning gear. And it's ultra, ultra light. And it's uh, just something I do when I'm out speculating, but also when I want to catch food, which is what I did the other day on Ray Roberts. And so that spot was, um, on a point on the west side there's like the v-shaped uh, characteristic to the lake so i was on the western v which is usually it turns on before the eastern side of the v and sure enough those bass were underneath those trees where the birds were obviously eating bird guano and and uh whatever other bugs and stuff that were falling down there and um managed to manage to actually on this video hopefully we're just watching video right now managed to uh call a couple shots on these bass. I got into a ton of sand bass, school of, of largemouth bass that were all like eh, 12 inches a pound, you know, something like that. And then to finish it off, hopefully this, this please go video to me, Mr. Fizzy. Oh, yeah, please go to me, Mr. Fizzy. daddy okay thank you thank you jesus thank you you're not gonna believe this guy yeah <laughs> okay uh, gentlemen start my engine okay this is a white clouser that i use on this white clouser with a rattle inside of it size of this guy look at that guy <laughs> that's a beautiful fish guys look at that somebody's gonna catch him at the uh, tournament that's coming up this is Blake Ray Roberts so you guys that are coming up for that tournament here in two weeks don't go to Ray Roberts <laughs> I know you guys you fishing people don't bother to go to Ray Roberts in a couple weeks because it's gonna be overly crowded with the uh, NASCAR of all all conventional fishing bass fishing thing whatever it's called i don't know some some big event but anyway the biggest one lots more on that i hope because it's such a foobar thing but um one big lunker and i decided that was the time to stop so that's the video i hope it turned out i hope you're seeing something over there on, on the cutaways uh I know that there's a lot of extra water on the coast right now based on tides and probably now with some water coming down the system, um, also that. So you got to be aware, know before you go all the way to the coast. If you're on the coast, get a hold of me and let me know what's going on. If you're a guide on the coast, I want to hear from you and I'll put you on. I'll put your audio or video, whatever you got, if you want to send it to me. Um, 
Now the last part of all these videos, and you stuck it out this long, is the scroll at the end. This is the TPWD scroll. Take it with a grain of salt because these guys, what they said on Ray Roberts was off. And so I don't know how off this thing is on a regular basis, but keep in mind, I'm waiting for a storm to hit right now. I've had one sunny day this week that was doable. Uh, that's one day in seven in May, which is just incredible. What I saw made me think that everything's a month behind. I still believe that, that the uh, bass are, are in shallow because they can be. And the uh, carp are in shallow because they're still in spawning behavior where they're daisy chaining to follow each other around and stuff like that. And then you can get confused by the gar because they're big gar up shallow making all kinds of noise. So don't get distracted by those guys unless you want to be. And then I can tell you how to catch those guys too. But anyway, go to the scroll TPWD. Thank you for providing that for Texans. And you guys, if you don't want to watch all this and just want to watch the scroll, it's all about lakes um, in Texas. And from that, you can discern what you want to do and where you want to go. I'm, I'm really starting to hone in on the lake action on fly rod. And I think we're going to go to hit a couple more lakes in the next couple of weeks, if not more than two. Uh, we're going to definitely get away from Ray Roberts when that tournament kicks in. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great week. Of course, the scroll comes out. Uh, that information, TV, TPWD, comes out on Wednesday or Thursday, so it's a little bit late, earlier than, than, than when the video's coming out. So next Wednesday or Thursday, it'll come out again. If you subscribe to that, you'll get a text message to your phone, and then you can uh, actually um, get a direct link to that and not have to watch this all boring video. Otherwise, if you want to hear from me directly, I have about 10 subscribers now to my Fish Flash text messaging. And what that is, is I don't use it for profit. I just use it to uh, let people who take the time to contact me, that I'll take the time to put them in this list, contact them, and you will get the latest information from where I am. Thanks for watching. Always, always, always like and subscribe. And be sure to visit www.texasflycaster.com because that has a whole lot of information on it. But it's in writing. You might have to read but it's in writing. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great week coming up, great weekend, uh, Memorial Day weekend. Uh, be safe and keep me posted too. Thanks for watching.